Hello everybody, my name is Jason Henkel with Ballistic Board, a wholly owned subsidiary from Shotstop Ballistics. And today I want to show you something very special. It is the latest iteration of our product solutions from the Duridium portfolio of technologies. And it is called Ballistic Board, aptly named. Basically it is a ballistic panel that is the most advanced ballistic panel on the market. It is the thinnest and lightest weight, lowest profile, highest speed piece of uh, paneling that can stop both bullets as well as dramatically reduce shockwave impact for uh, different applications. Uh, the application possibilities for this product are literally limitless. Anything from architectural solutions where you need special barrier protection to uh, vehicle up armament and different um, systems of vehicle uh, up armament both from ballistics protection as well as shockwave protection for operators. Uh, ranging also into uh, maritime application for all of the aquatic operators out there and structures that help to serve missions in maritime application. When we say how thin and lightweight, low profile our ballistic board actually is, let me just go through a high level review of that. It always depends on what threat level you are looking to defeat for your project or application. Uh, we start with our single layer of Duridium Ballistic Board, and this will be coming in at roughly one-eighth of an inch, one-eighth of an inch, and it only weighs 0 0.6 pounds, so it's basically half of a pound, 0 0.06 inches, and the uh, stoppage power on this is up to 44 Magnum multi-hit. So of course your 9 millimeter, your 38 specials, your 45s, but all the way up to 44 Magnum multi-hit. Now all you do to uh, add protective layering to this is you stack the layers of Duridium board and we do that either here at the plant or you can do it actually on location at your project. That's the beauty of it. And uh, to demonstrate that I have an example here of a stacked piece which is four individual um, layers of the 1 8 inch. So this is going to be half of an inch and it's gonna weigh about 2.4 pounds. And this will stop uh, 5.56, five, it'll stop 7.62 by 3.9, that's your AK-47 fire, and uh, which are you know, obviously some of the more popular threats out there for civilian uh, application and uh, protection in general. Um, and if you need a little bit higher threat level protection, well, that's no problem. You continue to stack depending on the threat level that you or your application is looking to protect from. So if we were to add one more layer, this would become 5 8 inch thick, and it would now protect from up to 30-06, including 308 rounds, multi-hit. Can you imagine something so thin and light stopping multi-hits from those high-octane threats? Well, Duridium and Ballistic Board has brought that to you. One of the most attractive attributes of Duridium Ballistic Board is its ease of uh, application, its ease of working with, its installment. Because it is very thin and lightweight, it lends itself to be able to uh, be bent, cut, heat formed, all on job location with standard carpentry tools and standard carpentry skill sets. So you're not having to bring in the specialists. You don't have to rework the whole infrastructure of the vehicle or the architectural uh, structure in order to make your uh, project have ballistics protection. If you look over here, I, I have uh, just a couple of examples of some applications that are out in the world already where with a simple oscillation saw, they were able to cut form, and, uh, cut shape and even form into curvatures that were required for particular applications. These came shipped to them as flat pieces of ballistic board with standard heat gun and proper clamping. They turned it into a permanently curved piece for their specific application. So that is uh, very refreshing to hear for most installers of ballistics uh, materials in general, which are well known to be thick, bulky, very hard to work with, and most of all, very heavy. You don't have that problem with ballistic board. We are oftentimes asked, what sizes of panels of ballistic board can we order for our projects or our programs? The great news is we, have, uh, we can custom cut them and make them to your project size, but a lot of clients like to cut them and shape them on location. 
Uh, our standard ship size is four foot by four foot pieces. And then from there, uh, we also have a unique uh, design patent where we can uh, ship them with this special modular uh, shiplap design where you get pieces and you can actually structure the pieces together according to your wall or your application need without seams. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to use a covering piece for seams which bevel out and can uh, mess with the aesthetics of a project. Our unique and patented shiplap design allows you to uh, implement ballistics into your either current structure or into the design of your structure and not have to worry about uh, beveled edges or lumpy finishes. So that is unique in the world of ballistic paneling. Everybody who sees uh, the Deridium ballistic board always has the same question. How the heck does that little piece of thin plastic that weighs about as much as a credit card stop ballistic rounds? And it all comes, it all comes down to uh, kinetic energy disbursement. The thin threads that the uh, Deridium boards are made out of are a very high tensile strength yarn basically that are put together in a unique way where when a ballistics projectile interfaces it, it pulls on all those yarns and very efficiently distributes the kinetic energy while stopping the high speed spiral or tumble of the uh, ballistic round. And next thing you know, it's gummed up in the actual board itself. As you see here, here's a 45 that was stopped. I'm gonna pull that out and you see it just basically stops it, flattens it, and catch, catches the round. So you don't have deflection problems that you do in some of the other ballistics materials. But that's basically how it works. It, it basically catches it, stops its high speed spin, and disperses its kinetic energy evenly throughout all of the strands in the board. To demonstrate the difference in weight and handling of these materials, this is a standard piece of ballistic board. It weighs 0.6 pounds, it's half of a pound. We're talking, we measure it in ounces. And then this one is a piece of ballistic steel at the same threat level. This is coming in at around seven pounds. And just look at the difference in handling. Uh, if you were to drop these two, which I'm going to do right now, you can very clearly see the difference in the gravity of these and how much harder it is to work with other ballistic materials versus our uh, deridium plastics for ballistics protection. Here goes the steel piece. And here comes our piece of deridium. Nice and clean, easy, and very lightweight, easy to work with.